all right, we have yet more proof of just how wicked the Roman Catholic Church is and just how much they have in common with pagan, Greek, and Roman society. In terms of like sexual perversion, fornication, pedophilia, homosexuality, all that stuff. It says here, priests recorded in having, I'm not going to say that word, group fornication on altar in Pearl River Church, police say three arrested. So this perverted Catholic priest is basically having group fornication. This is the problem. This is why Catholic priests, this is why celibate priesthood is so bad. Because they do stuff like this. Inside the lights inside St. Peter and Paul Roman Catholic Church in Pearl River were uh, later were on later than usual in September 30th. So a passerby stopped to take a closer look. Peering inside, the onlooker saw it's my alarm. The onlooker saw the small parish's pastor half naked, having sex with two women fornication with two women on the altar, according to a court documents. The women were dressed in uh, corsets and high-heeled boots, uh, and they were fornication toys and stage lighting. So this is going on inside of Catholic Church, you know, a pagan temple, basically. Uh, and a mobile phone as well as a separate camera mounted on tripods recording it all. So they want to make a good video of it, basically. Here's the that um, the Reverend, you know, which again is a title for God. So what are they? What are these preachers doing? Calling themselves Reverend, giving themselves God's title blasphemy, which of course the Roman Catholic Church is filled with blasphemy, so the eyewitness took the video and called Pearl River, P Pearl River Police who arrived at the church and viewed the, that recording, officers then arrested I'm not, not going to call this guy Reverend, because I'm not going to give him God's, God's title arrested uh, the Travis Clark, pastor of St. Peter and Paul since 2019 on obscenity charges yeah, well at least he got arrested for it the Archdiocese of New Orleans announced the priest's arrest October 1st, but would not give some specifics about why he was arrested. I'm not good at reading on a computer, I do apologize. Nor would the police. New, t new details, however, have emerged in court filings that paint a lurid picture of a priest recording himself engaging in a, in a fornication role play while desecrating the, the sacred place, the Roman Catholic Church is not sacred, within the church. Public records uh, additionally show that one of the women, Minnie Dixon, 41 years old, is an adult film is an adult film actor who works for hire at the Monatrix, and on a social media account associated with Dixon on September 29th, Post says that she was on her way to New Orleans to meet another uh, dominatrix to quote defile a house of God. Now, obviously, the Roman Catholic churches are not houses of God; they're uh, pagan temples. She looks like a Satanist, but. Uh, you know, I'm not supposed. To, of course, I'm not supposed to judge according to appearance, but um, she looks gothic. I'll just put it that way, because I don't want to judge according to appearance. John 7:24. Dixon and Melissa Chang, 23, were booked on the same count as Clark, 37, th for 37 years old. Police say the charges stem from obscene acts that occurred on the altar, uh, which was clearly visible from the street. So it basically was like pu basically public nudity type charges. You know, obscene acts. Because, of course, they won't arrest him for fornication because fornication and adultery is put completely, completely legal. So you just arrest him on obscenity charges. But if it happened not in the public, you would just let it go on. Because America's morality is just falling down the drain pipe. Because in a pre, in a, in a hundred years ago, something like this would have you arrested for fornication or adultery. But now that adultery and fornication is legal, you know, you can just do it as long as you're not in public doing it, or you can be seen from the public. Then you just get arrested for obscenity charges. You know. But again, you know, of course, God's law, you know, says these guys are fornicators. The arrest marked the latest scandal to befall the Archdiocese of New Orleans after a different Nor North Shore priest, uh, I'm not gonna, again, I'm not going to call the guy Reverend because I'm not going to give him God's title, Pat. Watanji reportedly disclosed on October 1st the Archbishop Gregory uh, Ammond uh, that he sexually abused a minor in 2013. Not surprised. Again, just copying the traditions of the pagan Greeks and Romans, which, you know, again, pagan Greek and Roman society was rampant with pedophilia and homosexuality and, and incest and bestiality and all this other perverted stuff. Ammond removed uh, Watanji from public ministry last week and added him to the archdiocese list of clergy whom the church believes have been credible have been credible accused of molestation. I think it was a grammar error there. 
Clark, who was ordained in 2013, had recently been named chaplain of Pope John Paul High School in Slidell, Slidell, sorry. in addition to his duties at uh, Saints Peter and Paul uh, at the high school, he succeeded Watinji, Watinji, I hope, I hope I'm saying his name right, who had resigned from that position that this summer over inappropriate text messages sent to a student. Pope, Pope, you know, John Paul. Again, Holy Father, the word Pope means Holy Father. Uh, if you read John 17, Holy, Holy Father is a title for God. It's not a title for, for man. So, again, just blasphemy calling the guy a Pope. So, which, you know, I try to, I'm going to try to refrain from calling the guy a Pope. Uh, John Paul II, principal on Tuesday, sent a letter to school parents criticizing uh, Imend, I think that's how you say his name, for waiting until last week to tell him that Watingi, Watingi, whatever, had been under investigation for those texts since February. So they cover the thing up. They don't tell everyone what's going on. Because again, you know, they're perverts. It's pedophilic. The Archdiocese announced that it has suspended Clark from ministry the day after he was arrested. Attempts to contact Clark, Chan, and Dixon weren't immediately successful. All three have bonded out of jail pending the outcome of the case. The Archdiocese would not comment Thursday on Clark's arrest, saying authorities were investigating the matter. In Roman Catholic tradition, the altar is one of the most sacred of church place spaces, serving as the focal point for their, basically their pagan mass, serving for the focal point for their satanic cannibalistic mass and the place where the priest consecrates the Eucharist during the sacrament of Holy Communion. Holy Communion is done in remembrance. It's not done as a literal sacrifice. Jesus says, do this, this do in remembrance of me. You know, 1 Corinthians 11. He didn't say, do this. I think, I think it's 1 Corinthians 11, 24, 25, if I'm not wrong. 24 to 25. He says, do this in remembrance of me. The paraphrasing, of course. He didn't say it's a literal, uh, continual sacrifice. That's paganism. Uh, according to church law, known as canon law, when the sacred places are violated, they must be repaired by a penantile uh, rite before they can be used again in mass. You know? Sure. Again, it's just pagan Roman tradition. Days after Clark's arrest, Imond uh, went to St. Peter and Paul and performed the ritual to restore the altar's sanctity. You know? Disgusting. So they're, they're just going to fornicate on it and just do some pagan ritual to try to restore it. The church is vague on specific acts that would constitute desecration, or, uh, desecration, but the code of canon law says the violation of sacred place occurs by gravely injurious actions done to them that are contrary to the holiness of the place. There's no holiness inside the Roman Catholic Church. It's all just wickedness and Satanism and paganism and occultism and everything else and witchcraft. The description appears to apply to, uh, to the alleged terrorist as outlined by the police in documents filed in Louisiana's uh, 22nd Judicial District Court in Covington. On September 30th, just before 11 o'clock p.m., an unidentified person was walking by the church on St. Mary's Drive and looked inside through the windows through the glass doors while the lights were still on. Um, police alleged the person observed a video of Miss Chang and Miss Dixon using plastic fornication toys uh, while engaging in fornication on the altar with Clark, who was partially wearing or wearing his priestly attire. The person called the police to, uh, to the church. Officers arrived to see two women clad in corsets in high heel boots by the altar with lights set up around them, and they're filming some type of event, the document said. Clark wasn't on the altar, but the officer knew Clark to be the church pastor. You know, they're not pastors. They're not biblical preachers. They're just... The Catholic priesthood is not scriptural at all. Uh, police tried to ca call him on the phone. Police then ordered the woman to let uh, let them inside. In addition to the lights, uh, notice a mobile phone on the camera, each mounted on tripods. So they're filming the whole disgusting act. Women reportedly told the women were told the reportedly told the police that they were they were with Clark's per, uh, they were with they were there with Clark's permission and were recording themselves in role play. You know, role play. Uh, Clark soon arrived at the church and reportedly gave a similar account to police, describing Chang and Dixon as his guests and friends. Police wrote in documents filed in court. Officers determined everything that had happened was consensual, but they arrested Clark, Chang, and Dixon on accusations that the three had broken law, uh, or law prohibiting people from having fornication within public view. So that, you know, so they basically broke the law. But you know, with the Roman Catholics, they don't care about following the laws. Uh, with the Roman Catholic priest, it'll say it that way. Police said they confiscated the sex toys and camera equipment as evidence. 
Yeah, I guess they recorded the whole thing, so you got evidence there. Clark was later released from jail on a $25,000 bond. Chang and uh, of uh, Alpharetta, Georgia, and Dixon of Kent, Wa of Kent, Washington posted bonds of $7,500, records show. And, you know, each could face six months to three years in prison if convicted of, of obscenity. You know, good for them. I hope they do go to jail. Because disgusting what they did. Uh, Amen sent a letter to the prisoners of St. Peter and Paul on Monday saying the Reverend Carol... Carol. Sounds like a female name. And again, I called her Reverend. I do apologize. Um, I do repent of that because, again, it's God's title. So I repent of calling her Reverend. Just my bad. But yeah, uh, Carol, uh, women are not supposed to be pastors. You know, I suffer not a woman to teach. You know, let your woman keep silence in the church. Uh, no, they're not supposed to be pastors. Carol Sherma would replace Clark beginning October 11th. And it goes down there. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but this just so shows the uh, wickedness that goes on inside the Roman Catholic Church. And just the immorality and debauchery that goes on. Let me just show what the Bible says. Search up the word fornication on your Bible app. Go to the Epistles of Paul, because those are for us today. You know, it goes down there. The Bible condemns fornication very strongly, very har harshly. You know, it's funny because the uh, Catholic Church says we're all saints, or no, they, they say the saint is like some kind of special position, while Paul says we're all saints. Ephesians 5 3, but fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becometh saints. You know, neither filthiness, nor, verse 4, neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. In Ephesians 5.5, 5, uh, For this ye know, that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. So, the Roman Catholic Church is wicked and satanic. Um, it is the Church of Lucifer, and this kind of wicked or immorality goes on constantly. So, don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.